I wasn't going to do this live stream and then I said, ah, sure feck it. The purpose of me doing this live stream is to help encourage people that are having a really good time in their lives and that are happy and contented and living the life of their dreams and people who are just smashing it. Encouraging those people to lean fully into it, celebrate it and record it as it's happening, okay? I had um, a challenging morning this morning. It didn't start very well. And today is we can and we will day. And I wasn't going to go. I haven't missed one in, oh good goodness, it would be maybe 20 months apart from January when I was really ill and I, I, I literally couldn't get over. So I've, I've, I've seen the majority of them, the vast majority of them, um, because it's a brilliant event. We can and we will. You need to get over there to, to see that. Uh, Amanda Delaney, check out her page. And I sat with it for a moment this evening and questioned myself, you know, Nick, you are tired. You've worked really hard this week. Um, should you really be listening to your body and not going to this event? And then I thought about all of the times that Amanda has really supported me in times that are really important. And I thought about me pal Amanda being sick. She's very sick this week and that she was digging deep and she was going to the event. I actually offered yesterday um, to help her um, because I knew she was so ill. And I sat with her for a moment and I thought about Amanda's face and I went, uh, no, you're definitely going to the event. So as usual, Risa Champion, Gabrielle Lawler, Collins Lawler, excuse me, and Barry Morta arrived over to my house for 4.15pm. And we take the Venga bus up to Drogheda, oh, up to, to Dublin, from Drogheda. And we always have great crack and it's always really good fun and it's really good company. And you always feel full up when you've spent time with people who are radiators and not drains. So the crack is 19, the car on the way up and we go in and I'm giving Amanda a dig out on the door. Then Ian, her husband, very kindly asked me to do the intro for Amanda, which I'd never been asked to do before. That was brilliant for me. Really, really delighted. And it's nice to be able to speak nicely about people that you admire and look up to and are good to you. So I, I was delighted to be able to do that. And the speakers were fantastic. The speakers were brilliant, as they always are. However, Amanda decided tonight to have a guest speaker that wasn't announced. And, you know... I know Risa Champion a long time and to me Risa is a very quiet person and that's just part of her personality. So Amanda begins to speak about this person, this mystery person who um, is going to be speaking and the more that she's talking, I'm kind of going, is she talking about Risa Champion? Now Risa was sitting like five seats away from me and I'd already been in the car with her all the way up to Dublin, all the way down to Dublin. And she calls her name and said, Risa is speaking. I nearly fell over with the shock of it. And I was super proud of her. So Risa gets up and I'm like all in. I'm like, oh my God, this is off the charts. So um, Sue Mastin was sitting beside me. As soon as she started speaking, I knew what was happening. Risa Champion spoke about challenges that she's had. But her whole presentation was about her relationship with me over the last 12 months and all of the changes that she has made. And all I'll say is this, is that she spoke about me in the most highest regard that I have never, and there she is online now laughing at me, that I have never heard anybody speaking about me before. I sobbed. I cried so hard the dolphins could hear me. I slid down in the chair. And the feeling that it gave me was better than any of the awards that I have received this year. It was flabbergasting. Can you imagine what would have happened if I had not have gone to that event? And how raging I would have been if I had have missed it. So after Reese's spot, I couldn't even look at her because I was so upset. And I'm thinking about it now, I could even get it, I could cry again. 
Sarisa sits down and Amanda gets up to speak. And when Amanda was finished speaking, I asked her if I could speak because I wanted to capture the moment. I thought it was extremely important. And I asked Amanda to stay on the stage with me because I was very shaky and I was crying in front of a room full of people and the majority of them I didn't know. And I don't like crying in front of people. But I did because I was allowing myself to be vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, that means you're being courageous. So what I said was this, and I haven't spoken about this publicly, but I'm going to speak about, speak about it now. I am an impairment specialist. That's what I do. That's what I was sent here to do. And some people in the last couple of years have questioned my education and asked me, so what degree did you have to do to be able to become an impairment specialist? And I explained to them, there's not any qualification that you can do, but I'm, I have a cert in this and I'm qualified in that. And it's little itsy bitsy things. But if I'm honest, it's just me. I just turn up and do whatever it is that I have to do. So I made an announcement and I said, the next time anybody asks me that question, I'm just going to get them to ring Risa Champion because Risa Champion can explain it better than I can. So it's really important, especially for kids that are facing exams right now. And this is not an excuse to not study. It's really important to recognise natural talent when you have it. You either are talented or you aren't. And you can't learn what I have learned through experience in a book. You just can't. You can either do this or you can't. And I started a marketing degree years ago and I didn't finish it. I kept failing one exam, okay, which was behavioural science. And I got a letter from the examiner after the fourth time that I took it to say, Nicola, we don't care about your opinion. What you have to say is brilliant, but we just need you to give, give us the information from the book. Stop giving us opinions and theories on the opinions and the theories. Just give us what's out of the book. But because I was so into the work and because I'm so into behavioural science, I'm like, yeah, this is what Freud said. But maybe if he had said it this way or maybe if he had it done that way and maybe the outcome could have been this. So I was trip I was hanging myself with my own rope. So I left that degree because I was actually just a natural marketer. I was brilliant at marketing. And it's not that I have to try. It's just in me. I did charity work a couple of years ago here with um, a team of people in Drogheda. We were all volunteers and started off with two of us and we expanded to the, the um, committee. And we, we did a charity thing called Pink and Bling. And every single person who attended that event thought that we were a company and we weren't. We were just stay at home mothers at the time trying to give back to the community. So I am leaning in to that experience tonight that happened with Risa Champion, Amanda Delaney, Sue Masterson, everybody else who was in the room. Stephen Downey was there as well. Another win for me today is that Stephen shared something with me that Stephen and I are going to share with you on the 12th of June. We're going to be doing a live stream together to discuss that. My heart just kept getting more full and more full and more full and more full. And then on the way home, now this might sound like something simple to you guys, but this literally blew my mind. Like this day cannot get any better. Like it just can't. Maybe it can. I don't know. But I'm, my mind is blown. On the way home in the car, I've always wanted cruise control and I've never had cruise control in the car. And we got a new car there a little while ago and I didn't think that I had cruise control. <laughs> And Barry Mortis showed me how to set up the cruise control. I drove cruise control on the way home. Then he taught me how to answer a call in the car. Then he was trying to set up syncing my contacts from my phone into the car. Then I get a message from a client in one of the private membership groups comparing a photograph of herself from last year to this year to say um, how unhappy she was last year to how happy she is right now and that she learned from the best and she wouldn't have been able to do it without me. Like, then I got a lovely message off Stephen Downey there a second ago. My daughter won an award last week with her friend for dancing. Jamie is captain in his team. He's playing for the under 14s, the 15s, the 16s. He's playing for his county. He's playing for County Loud. Neil is knocking it out of the park and work. I'm knocking it out of the park and work. I could not be any happier than what I am right now. Given that I had a really challenging morning and I was really, really upset about a particular issue. And I was going to throw in the towel and have a slumber day and get into my pyjamas and eat shite and watch stupid telly. And then I just dug deep and said, no, I'm going for this and I'm going over to spend time with all these people that I know are going to raise me up. I would have missed out on all of this amazingness. And I am absolutely chuffed. 
I am not boasting. I am not coming from ego. I am leaning in to being happy. Because I was unhappy for long enough. And I choose happiness. And the reason why I'm sharing this story with you is because I want you to choose happiness. It is a choice. What we focus on expands. Okay? Now I can see that there's millions. Oh, here's another brilliant thing that happened. I was talking to Joe Clancy. Joe Clancy has a page. Um, the name of it escapes me, but basically it's a charity that's set up for the children in Haiti. And there's a brilliant friend of mine I know since I'm four years old. Her name is Lavinia Penrose Egan. And she has um a way of supporting me when I do charity work um in a particular way that is really, really uh, important. I just leave it there. And I asked Lavinia for help and within an hour I had gotten exactly what it was that I'd asked for. And I was able to send that message to Joe Clancy. I just got a message there as I'm talking from Joe Clancy. Um, I, I sent him on the message to say what we asked for, we have gotten. And I know that there's another couple of brilliant things that have happened this evening, but I, my mind is so blown that I can't even think of them. Um, I am really proud and honoured to be in the tribe of people that I have around me right now. I have a really strong community and I've worked really hard to build it and forge proper strong relationships. And I urge you to do the same. Don't accept substandard for a moment. Pull up your socks and raise your standards. Um, because it is so worth it. Now, sorry if the camera gets a little bit a bit a little bit wobbly for a minute. Oh, I'm just gonna scroll back and read all the comments. Whoa. There's millions of yes. literally million millions of us. Yes. Okay. Risa Champion is laughing at me, as I said. Martina Keelan says, You're a legend, Nicola. It's well deserved. 40 miles to Dublin. Let me tell you a story about Martina. Martina came to see me. And I don't mind saying this because she said it publicly herself and I'm not breaking confidentiality. It took her 12 months to make an appointment. And when she got here, she said 12 months for 40 miles and it only took me 40 minutes. 40, 40 miles to Dublin or 40 miles from Dublin and I'm here. And um, we got through a lot in that session and she's absolutely flying and I'm really proud of her. Um, Sue Masterson said, you are fantastic. Uh, Sue Maston says Risa Champion was super tonight she was off the charts she was like a professional she even had technical difficulties and she handled them like an absolute pro I'd have lost my mind with that level of technical difficulty and she was just fantastic uh, John Kearney I loved what you said you will tell the next person to ask <laughs> yeah. I used a bit of bad language as well but that was in close circles I wouldn't say stuff like that on the live stream Caroline O'Donovan you learn from the University of Life Nicola yeah, absolutely. Uh, Risa Champion, anytime, hon. You're exceptional. I'll start crying again now. You're exceptional at what you do because of the lessons you have learned in your life. And that's absolutely true. Thank you, Risa. Risa Champion, cruise control. I lost my mind <laughs> in the car over the cruise control. Barry Morta, cruise control. Sue Masterson, I'm so happy for you, Nicola E. Camille Brin. Amanda Delaney, I'm so proud of you. Amanda, fantastic. And on El Ellis. Hi, Anne. I haven't heard from you in ages. You're an inspirational human being. My God. I mean, lad, seriously. I fucking pinch myself. I can't believe I'm after course on a live stream. I pinch myself. Like, life is actually this good when you work hard. When you work hard at this, it is, this is what happens. This is called flow. Amanda Delaney, Risa was so composed and professional. She really was. You would not have thought that it was her first time speaking in public like that. Hats off to you, Risa. You have another calling. Martina Keelan, I'm getting there, Nicola, all thanks to you and your help. So it's well worth travelling 40 miles. I'm delighted. We'll have to think, we'll have to, excuse me, we'll have to make up a song. Um, so listen, I'm going to get back um, to Joe Clancy there and let him know what the story is. But thanks ever so much. I mean, there was 47 of us on there live watching and it's late at night. Um, so I'm so grateful to you. Uh, Gus Bourne says, Evening. Hope you're well. I live too far away. This group is special, Nicola E. Canela Vryn. And it is down to you. You're very welcome. It is absolutely my pleasure. As I always say, 
Um, no matter what platform I'm speaking on, I'm creating tribes no matter where I go. And I don't want anybody ever going on their spiritual journey on their own. There is a place for you under some form of the I am positive mindset umbrella somewhere along the line. So have a gorgeous evening, guys. Lean into happiness. Be all that you can be and raise your standards and get yourself to we can and we will. Take it easy. Slam.